Oh my god. What? Did someone steal our supplies? Motherfuckers. Howdy. Beads are, are bad. You can't hear anything right now. Well, you might have to wait to, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have time. to, yeah, I'm gonna have to re-explain this, so... It might be best if we all go out in the back to do this, honestly. How do I... I, you know, I probably have to, uh, lay my head down. There's, okay. Uh, <laughs> a nightmare I have to have. But, um, it's, it's good that you're all here together, because I think it's something you need to talk about. Yeah, uh, I kind of figured so. That's the unfortunate part about communication shit. Your ears feeling better, Zip? Yeah. Alright, yeah. that's good at least. Unfortunately, yeah. I do have to lay my head down. I gotta go have a nightmare. But, um... Jackie was just telling us what happened um, during the job from her perspective. I think figure she has to share that perspective with you, huh? Uh, yeah. Do you know who stole the outlaw supplies? I have no idea, but Cecily uh, suspects is either a civilian and or a lawman, because uh, no criminal here that she's seen would have sold that from you. It's fucking hay. Yeah, it was hay. And I paid the man for it, too. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. The man came down here, and I paid him his $600. Wait, the first one was supposed to be free for me not killing him. Did he bring another shipment? He might have. Oh, okay. Where is CC? I have those fucking flowers. Here, you take them. Sure, I can put them in the back. In in the back before I go have my nightmare. Yeah. You should just call sick from your nightmare. Just start coughing. Oh, if only. <laughs> All right. Before we have this talk, I need to get ammo. All right. That's the first tent you might get gunned down, Jackie. Okay. No. Stay. Get on the... I give up. BMX, you're a failure. No one's gonna love you. Hey, before we have this conversation, give me a second. I need to get bullets to fucking gun you down. I had a rough night's sleep, that's for sure. How about you, partner? Yes, sir. John, yeah, I ain't got too good of a memory myself. You'll have to remind me. Oh, we got a knife. What is it? Pleasure to see you again, partner. That I did too, but I gave one to Mr. Uh, Quill. Two people we get to fucking it shoot. It ain't doing too bad. Although last night was a fucking shit show. Need to ask when we've spoke. Has my mic been okay? Yeah. I don't find anything wrong with, uh, your voice. All right, well, or your mic. Alright, you as well. <laughs> Be safe. I will stop by. Alright, Zip, you want to go out in the back or something? Yeah, we can do that. Uh, Jonesy. Ryland, tell CC, uh, night, okay? Night, Mimi. Bye. I do. I might have to restart because I was doing editing and shit and a bunch of bullshit today. 
watch a movie. And I can't, for some reason, use TeamSpeak right now. I don't know fucking why. Yeah. So I might have to reset. Well, you're about to hear it, but pretty much everyone abandoned me. And I got arrested. Jesus. Yeah, there's a fellow named Caleb that is in town right now that we're gonna have to beat the fuck out of. And then I need to hear a story from her side. Alright, perfect. So, I'm not sure how much everyone else filled you in because by the I time want, it hit... I want just uh -huh. your side of everything. Okay. So, basically my side that happened was is that fast forwarding to the part where we're all standing around. You I think you were talking. Check well, some deadly. of the guys you were could talking check about how, speak um, and I think it was your brother. Your own voice. He's saying how you could climb on the side of the ridge, and so I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, let's let's see. Let's see how far we can go without being seen." So I start climbing up the ridge, kind of judging it to see sorry, how Benny. it can work out and how it can be placed. Well, halfway on the side of the ridge, my foot slips and I fall and slide down to the other side. I then hide behind a tree, and I'm standing there with my gun out. I can see the backs of the deputies at that point, um, but they didn't actually see me, so I waited there. Um, then, at some point, I would All say right, maybe Vinny. ten Have a great minutes, day at work. maybe if that, your brother slides down, um, and then he comes up to me, and we start talking, and I'm telling him, saying, well, we got the back end of this. I was like, we're going to wait here. Until everybody else comes, or until we hear firing, and if that's the case, we'll shoot the cops from behind. Um, so we're standing there waiting, and then all of a sudden, the new guy uh, comes sliding down. And I said, hey, where's where's Zip? Where's everybody else? What's going on? You know, the last person that's there. And because, unfortunately, there was only one way is to go down, not up. Um... Yep. Just letting you know there's a man in the bar looking for a Mr. Quill. Oh, yeah. Tell him I'll uh, kill him soon. Uh, all right. All right. So, as a, so he comes in from what I can... I'm trying to rack through my Hit number two, you might get shot, he Jackie. He said that he told y'all about the side, the side of the uh, mountain that you could climb on, at least to get over across and get down safely. But he said that no one was doing nothing. Um, and I sat there and I was like, okay, well, we're going to have to wait here. There's nothing much we can do about this. Um, but I think by that time, I think the deputies actually saw us because I started noticing them actually, uh, using their binoculars to where we were at. The guys were moving about quite a bit while I was trying to hide behind a tree and not move at, at all. Um, by that time it started hitting closer to near nightfall. And I noticed all of the uh, deputies were calling their horses and they were starting to climb down the mountain like they were in a frenzy a little bit. Instantly, I thought to myself, yeah, they definitely saw us. They're going to try and go after us. They, they know that we're only going to be on foot. So I said, I told them, I was like, I was like, fuck it, you know, Quill and everybody is over on that side. Maybe if they all chase us, that it'll give them time to escape from the other side. But either way, we need to go. They're going to come at us hard. So all three of us take off once i hit a roundabout around the corner i actually climbed back up onto the mountainside and laid down on my stomach and i watch all i think it was about maybe seven deputies if i remember rightly i don't fully remember but it was quite a bit i see all of them running so my assumption was is that okay now i know for sure that the others could get away because they were so focused on the three of us um after that I was about to get up and go but then I saw them coming back and so I stayed laying down and that's when I just had to sit there and just wait it out um, after I saw them leave I then was able to get up out of the bush and I ran until I could find a wild horse to grab and I went over to Thieves Landing where I found your brother and another guy um you know, I was asking him what's going on, you know, what's happening and all that stuff, and who was around, who wasn't. And we were just trying to figure things out. But by that time, you know, as we got further in, it got really late and I had to go to bed. So yeah, that's my side. What did you hear Ollie tell Isaac? Uh, when it came to coming to get me. Who, who's Isaac? 
the big fella. The oh, um, that one. Um, uh, I don't fully remember. I know that Ollie was saying is that you know that we need to let you guys know about the thing. This was when I was on top of the mountain. They were saying that we need to let you guys know about the about this getaway and that it's a good safe location to like slip away from and i think he was telling him to go tell you guys if i rightly remember correctly but i might be a little bit misconstrued because i was tired okay but i do know that he made you he wanted to make you guys aware so here's how it went from our side mine and barton's mm -hmm. we told everyone to wait that we're gonna buy time until nightfall and then come up with a plan I don't mind using that ridge to get out but the problem was was me and Barn went down and negotiate we come back Isaac says that you guys all left so we thought we were immediately outnumbered because you and Ollie were up on the ridge now that there was four of us in the entrance at this point me Barton Isaac and Caleb now, me and Isaac, I, I specifically told Isaac and Caleb not to stand by that ridge, to not make it look obvious, and to wait until nightfall. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, is there was fog. If we would have just waited, because obviously Law was waiting, if we would have just waited for the fog, we could have snuck away. All of us, together. But the problem was, was we left... Me, Barton, and Isaac went to go grab the stuff. We told Caleb to wait down there. Don't leave. And sure as shit, we come back down with all the loot. And guess who's gone? Hmm. All right. Caleb. So then we go up on the ridge at their nightfalls. And as soon as we get up on that ridge, Law comes up there. And has guns at us while we're laying down. Now, I think everyone in one way fucked up this bank job this plan because the problem is is if we would have just waited till nighttime we would have all got out together if anything we could have flanked them shot them down in the woods or we could all just escape through the ridge but everyone started doing their own thing so whose decision was it to go up on that ridge while we were negotiating yours uh, or ollie's one of the guys yeah I just got told about it later that you could get up the ridge. And they told you to come up. Yeah. Well, I mean, they told me about it. And then I went up to check it out. Um, because at that time, I wasn't told or wasn't even made aware that you were made aware of it yet. So I was checking it out to see if it was even safe. Because Ollie was like, well, I don't know. It's kind of steep on this side. I was like, well, let me see. And for about halfway over the side of the ridge, we were able to walk it. But then that's when I, my foot slipped, basically. And I couldn't get back up after that happened. So I waited in the back of the trees. And I think I even told them to say that, yeah, we can get down here. You know, they have no idea we're here. And I figured they would reach out and tell you guys about that because the whole flanking thing. It's the same reason why I stayed so long. Um, was because I was hoping that worst case scenario is that we get them from behind with the element of surprise, basically. Whose call was it? Like, why didn't we see when we went up on the ridge? Like, any of you? Well, I slipped off the ridge, and so I was hiding in behind a rock in a tree. Did so you guys I see us when deputies. we went down the ridge? I did not see you, no. Or were you guys already gone? Mm, I don't quietly remember because it was dark out, and unfortunately, with my eyes, things are a lot darker than normal. Okay, did you see Barton or Isaac? Were you with Ollie and I was with Caleb Ollie until and, you got uh, away? Yeah, I was with Ollie and the guy with the red mask. Right. And until you guys got away, right? So you all left together? <laughs> Um, yeah, well, basically, is as soon as we saw the police coming down, I told them and I said, fuck it, we need to go because they were coming at us. And so that's when we bolted. So, yes, in hindsight, but at the same time. 
I don't know if we're gonna fucking they gun her down we because and I wasn't about to just this sit sounds there and like allow it's on Ollie. one of the deputies to just like take she me. was just listening to orders, right? Like I, I said, if the guys didn't come nice. down there, I'm honestly 100% certain that they, the police officers wouldn't have seen me. Because I wasn't moving a muscle when that was happening. I was just keeping watch and standing behind the rock when that was happening. But once the guys started coming down there, I mean, they started moving about and doing stuff. And it's not putting any blame on nobody. It's just stating of a matter of fact. But... I think once that happened, there was a huge miscommunication with a lot of things, but none of the guys said for you, like, none of them said, oh, you said for us to leave or whatever else. At one point, it was just a reaction to the chase that was about to ensue. But I tried to stay there as long as possible without leaving. So you were just listening to Ollie? Mm, basically, yeah. Figuring out what was going on, because... Those two were the last people to talk to you guys. Last time I talked to you guys, or last time I, I was having conversations, conversation, you told me to move the horse cart over there. And then that you were going to go talk to them by holding your hands up. And then that's when they were telling me about the mountain on the side was when your hands were up and you were over by the other cart trying to talk to the deputies. So that's when I, I walked up the mountain to check it out. And then that's when I slipped. And then that's when I stayed. All right. See, because the way that it looks like is Ollie, you, and Caleb saw an opportunity to leave while we were negotiating. If, if that were the case, Zip, I would have left long before that. I, I stayed and waited the whole time until the cops started moving about. I, I stayed the whole time because I knew that if worst case scenario, if I heard gunfire, that I would start shooting them from behind. So if I really wanted to just get away, just to slip away and not be caught, I, I wouldn't have actually stayed as long as I did. But I waited there all the way up to nightfall. And like I said, the only reason I got spooked to run was because <laughs> when you have seven to eight deputies come running down a mountain towards you grabbing their horses... You, you know it's time to fucking skedaddle out of there. Alright, because Barnes said the law seemed to be heading somewhere. So I think they were chasing you guys. When law came, is That's... that when you guys left? Yeah, so basically when the so guys Ollie lied. moved around the area, I saw the law guy pulling out his binoculars looking at us. Then another law guy started looking at us. I could tell from the rock ridge from there. And then all of a sudden, like, all of them started swarming down the rock Ollie said he waited until we were, we were down And they, I they saw left. them whistling the horses because their horses were running up. And so instantly I was like, yeah, shit, they fucking saw us. They fucking saw us. We need to go. And I said, and they said, well, what are you going to do? They're grabbing their horses. I'm like, we run now while they're still trying to get off that fucking rock. And so we bolted off. And when I made the reversal and like basically when I rounded the corner, I just went up the hill and laid down because I wanted to see and uh, like one, see if maybe you guys could get away. But then also see if the deputies would actually, all of them would chase. And I saw half of them on the ground. They weren't even on their horses yet. They were all running on foot, running after us. And there was probably about, oh God, like five, six. Zip on to Ollie for a bank job. A lot of them were following. And I was going to, I was going to go the opposite direction while they were running after them. But then they kind of swooped back and started going for their horses. If it was something bigger than a bank job, then yeah, maybe, but not for a bank job. All right. I need to know who made the call to go up that ridge when I asked everyone to wait. Was it Isaac or was it Ollie? I, I don't know. It, it's, you it, don't it remember? Was those, or... That's what I'm saying is that it's, it's one of those things where I don't think it was a we have to do this i think it was a statement that more so they were just saying that oh we can go up this ridge okay who was the first one to go up that ridge maybe ollie i think and then he came down to grab you and say there's a way out well he he went and told everybody a few of the guys that there was a way out 
And then I said, oh, really? Is there a way out? I was like, uh, he's like, yeah, I'm not sure, though. It might be dangerous. It might not be safe. And I was like, oh, let me take a look. And then that's when I climbed up and kind of like started like crawling to see how well, um, well footing it was and if it was safe. And that's when I slipped. So like I said, I don't think anyone was making commands or saying, hey, we need to go now or hey, we need to do this or hey, get up on this ridge. It was more so a statement of, I think we can do this. Well, let's take a look. And then all of that just, you know, started rolling down the hill like a, a mudslide. Yeah. You see where my issue, though, is, right? If we would have just waited, we had enough food to last us until fog came in. If the fog came in, they wouldn't have seen any of that. We would have been gone. I, I see your side of things. Don't get me wrong. Like, Zip, I, I'm, I'm full in understanding and stuff. It's just one of those situations where I think, one, the lack of communication from everything was going on. But then also at the same time, uh, with me slipping off, I, I had no way to get up. But I still stuck around just in case my gun my gun was needed because I am a good shot. And so I knew I would be beneficial to actually sticking around in case we did get into a shootout. So uh, unfortunately, it was a huge, big uh, moments of unfortunate events. But I, I did not leave. I waited. And I waited until nightfall. And I was still hoping to see you guys come across that ridge and go down it. But then, with everything happening at, all at once, I I just did what I had to do to make sure to get out after I saw the deputies chasing us. But I do see your side of things. What did Caleb say when he joined you? Um, if, if I remember correctly, he was saying that he told y'all uh, about the, um, about the ridge and so, like something about you guys like hearing him but like ignoring or doing your own thing so i i'm really not really sure so uh, this is me just trying to remember from like i said my my brain was a little bit i was way past my bedtime but um uh, at least from my understanding that's what it was and so I was really confused why he even came down because I thought if he came down that everyone was coming down. Because I understood why I was down there. It's because I fucking slipped. But Ollie coming down there, I, I'm assuming he just came so he'd, he'd be there with me and I wouldn't be alone. I'm not quite certain. You'll have to get that information from Ollie. But for the other guy, I'm honestly not sure. That's just kind of what I remember. Alright. Jackie... It sounds like you were just following orders and you didn't know whose orders to listen to. It sounds like Ollie maybe had said something, you followed him up there. I think right now there's two people I have issues with. Caleb's definitely one of them because that's not how that conversation went. See, I told Caleb to wait on mm -hmm. the opposite side of the ridge until the sun went down. Mm hmm me, Barton, and Isaac went to go grab the supplies. When we came back, he was gone. Caleb's getting dealt with. Right now. Yeah. The second thing is Isaac's miscommunication. Because Isaac came down and told me and Barton that you guys had just left. He didn't say that you guys were waiting at the ridge. He didn't say that you guys were just waiting up there. He said that you guys had left. I think because he didn't see us, he assumed we left. I think that's the issue that came about. Because like I said, we were in hiding. So I think that was the problem. Is that he looked around, didn't see us on the ridge, and then looked around down below, didn't see us there. Because of course we were uh, hiding behind a rock to avoid the deputy sites. And then just said, oh, well, they fucking left us. That's what I'm, I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt that that's what happened. Because unfortunately, we can't just like, you know, I didn't want to scream out where I was. Because otherwise I would have, but that would have alerted the deputies. Uh, so unfortunately, communication got real cut off real quick as soon as we uh, fell down that mountain. 
So I don't hold it too much against them for assuming that. I would have too, honestly, especially if I didn't see nobody anywhere. And then all of a sudden, all I know is, is that they were up on that ridge and then they left. And now I don't see them at all. That would be my assumption too. So I don't really blame that. <sighs> but well, that, see, that wasn't the case. Ollie told me that he told Isaac to come get us, that they'd be waiting, that you guys would be waiting up on the ridge. Isaac didn't explain that. Isaac no, just said uh -huh. that you guys had left. Oh, okay. Which put us in a weird position because we were now outnumbered. So there's yeah. nothing we could do force-wise. Law would have just shot us up. So it put us at a disadvantage right away, thinking that you guys had left. Yeah, no, I get you. If we would have known you guys were up there on the ridge, Barton may... See, that's the thing, too, was Barton decided to go against what I was saying. I said we need to leave. We would have had a better chance, even us three, going down that ridge and having Law try to find us, ducking behind a tree, shooting down horses, shit like that. Mm-hmm. So here's the deal, Jackie. You're safe. I feel uh, like you were just following orders. If that's not the case, we'll have a different discussion. But yeah, I trust you. All right. Jonesy. Mm hmm You and I are about to fucking handle this muppet inside. Sure. All right. I'm going to go ahead. If there's nothing more needed from me, I'm going to uh, get kind of get my day started since just been waking up, finally dragged out. All right. All right. See you guys soon. Yeah. See you later. Sounds like yesterday was a shit show. It was. Now I don't mind. See, I'm not going to gun down my own brother for a fucking bank job. But I am going to beat the fuck out of him and not work with him again for a while. Isaac's pretty much on that same fucking page, I think. I need to know what the fuck they were thinking. Because if they would have just listened to me, if they would have just wait till the fog rolled in, we would have all been safe. They would have had no idea we even left. I think y'all need to have a family sit down and be very clear with each other. I'm thinking the same thing, and I'll probably be next to this fella's grave. Let's go. Howdy. Please. What? I said sidebar, please. Oh my god. Jonesy, make sure Caleb doesn't leave. I don't know who Caleb is. Go ask for Caleb and just say, oh, I'm Jonesy, I work with he's Zip, talking, blah, blah, He's talking to Chucky right now. Alright. So, how are you feeling? Good. Okay. You know, I had loads of things to say, and now I feel like I shouldn't say them because they're really mean. Nope, go ahead. No, it's fine. I take it back. I'm going. Wait, what? Hmm? Really mean? Wait, mean to who? No, not to you. Don't worry. Okay, say it. No, it's fine. I'm going. What the fuck just happened? I'm very confused right now, I hope you know. Zip Quill, I'm actually about to murder people because I'm just annoyed. Not even oh, reasonable, justified murder. Oh, you want to help? Because no. I'm about to shoot this Caleb fella. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, I'd love to help, actually. Although he's not, like, who's driving me fucking mad right now. Yeah, well. Also, why the fucking Christ did you bring Mishka to the West? Please, please tell me this. What did Mishka do? Ugh. Right now, breathing. Literally anyone. Anyone, anyone right now that's breathing is upsetting me. <laughs> Including you. You're breathing too loud. 
What the fuck is wrong with you, Cece? Everything. I'm so angry, Zip Quill. I'm so fucking angry right yeah, now. They, they ain't in the saloon or anything. I don't know where they are. They were by the telegram station talking. I think Jones like... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna come with you. Give me a sec. No, it's fine. Let's go. Is that not him over there? Which one? Hey, so I heard that this uh, little Ooh! drop of yours went pretty well last night. Oh yeah, it went, went great. Into the mountains and everything. Yeah, I got arrested with 99% of the loot on me. You got arrested? Where oh, the I thought fuck you is got away. Guy? Oh, was the first you were just talking to Caleb? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, he was looking for you. I think he's is he not in the bar. Jonesy didn't see him. Oh, so we'll check maybe not. I'm quite here at the telegram yeah, station. Where howdy? Howdy, Caleb. We need to have a chat. Yeah. Follow me. Sure fucking do. What a night. What a night indeed. Glad to see you're all right, though. Yeah. Surprised, because, you know, everyone fucking left me. Well, I do believe all four of us said we're climbing this at nightfall. But I think we got him off your tail because four of the fucking law chased us, so we left you with two. I hope that was okay. You know I got caught, right? Well, you did? I got surrounded by six law, yeah. Did they come back for you after they chased us? We had four following us along that fucking ridge. Caleb... I told you to wait before going up. Me, Barton, and Isaac went to go grab the loot. We came back down and you were gone. I forget the uh, Irish fella. I believe he was Irish, but he said to head on up because the others were up there. And I saw Ollie, your brother, so I assumed, you know, you two were on the same page. Are you talking about Isaac? As the Irish fella, the British fella? Maybe I ain't got too good of an ear, but whoever came down said to head on over with uh, with Ollie, and that's what I did, so I apologize. I did not mean to leave you hanging high and dry. It was quite the fucking night running on foot from those lawmen. I thought, if anything, we drew them away from you. Caleb... You were down on the mountain. It was me, you, Barton, and Isaac. I told you and Isaac not to go towards the left side. To right, stay on the so right stay side. Stay to the right. Right. Yeah. Me and Barton went down to have one last communication because we were buying time. And while we were buying that time. We we're gonna wait till fog rolled in. But then I told you to wait. That us four will go up together. Once it hits night and there's fog, we'll go up. 
You did wait there for a little bit. I saw you as we were walking away. We went to go grab the loot. And when I came back down, you were gone. So we went up the ridge. It was just us three. And Law came out with their guns up. We were outnumbered. Well, shit. I believe this is a miscommunication as Ollie, you know, as I said, was up there saying to come on down. I waited till nightfall. I thought you said let's go under nightfall, so that's what I waited for. I didn't hear anything about fog. But if I can rectify this in any way, do let me know, you know, it was not intentional. Yeah. Not a lot of things are. Can you do a, a favor there, Caleb? Could you just go way over there one second while I talk to Zach? Yeah, no problem. Sound, thank you. Honest truth, I think from what I've been. Oh, and real quick, I. Uh... Have some ammunition when you, uh, fella are done that I believe is yours, Mr. Quill. I also spoke to a, uh, Jesse about keeping the goods safe. So, uh, anyways, let me know when you're done. This guy seems like he was just kind of caught between a rock and our place being told two separate things by two different people. You telling him to wait, and then when you just went away to whatever it was, and then Ollie telling him to fucking come down or go up or whatever it was. I think this is the same thing as uh, Jackie. I think he's he's just kind of doing what he was told, but unfortunately, it was being told two separate things by two different people. Yeah, well, unfortunately, this fellow is going to learn who to listen to next time. I think you need to have a a good chat with uh, Isaac and Ollie. If I see Isaac right now, I'm gonna gun him down. Okay, let's not jump to anything drastic. I think, uh, honestly, I think this guy's the same as, as Jackie. We can't treat one different from Jonesy's that. right in a way, but what they were told, you know? then again, like, I would have to, like, remember. I remember telling this guy to fucking wait, that we'll be right back, we're gonna grab the stuff. If we would have had four up on that ridge. I don't fuck about him, Jackie. I literally have met a handful of times and I don't really care. But. Kind of like, it's hard to shoot someone that doesn't know the outfit. And like, the people that we have issues cheap. with are the outfit. Barton for not listening to us when we said go. And Isaac for the miscommunication. But this guy did leave when Zip told him to stay. And it's very clearly Zip's job. He knows that in a way he fucked up. It's why he's trying to ask for something in return. Now we could do one of two things. I could shoot him in the arm. Leave a lasting reminder. That if I say something, I'm the one you fucking listen to. And we Who do is something this else guy with anyway? them. Caleb, he's new. I think I'm gonna shoot this fellow in the arm. For abandoning me. Or maybe the leg, because uh, he did run away. At the end of the day, it's your call, but... If I'm being honest, he's in the same thing Jackie just said. That's different. Jackie was specifically told by Ollie. I never spoke to Jackie. The difference is, is this fella, I told him not to go up. I was walking up the mountain. I said, stay there. I'll be right back. We're going to go grab the loot. And when we came back, he was gone. Jack would have shot both Jackie and fucking 
Oh, yeah, Caleb. that's the case then, yeah. Tell him he, he, he needs to get punished so he understands not to fuck up in the future. Go for it. We could do it the coin toss. I, I think either way, we're, we're gonna put a bullet in him. We can either do the arm or the leg. The leg for running the arm to make him go back to work. Well, if you shoot a man in the leg, you know, he's gonna have a higher chance of bleeding out. That's just common. Shoot him in the hand. Head? No, the hand. You're right, I'll shoot him in the head. No, hand. I'll let him fucking choose where I'm gonna shoot him. The head or the... What'd you say? Hand. The head or the head? Oh, that's fucked up, Jonesy. That's dark. Oh, I'm a dark human being. I don't want to shoot the little man. Just shoot him in his working hand, the one he uses mostly, you know, if he's right or left. Oh, his working hand, you say? Yeah. Like the one he uses alone? I don't fucking know. Ask him which Chief. hand he uses when he's by himself. No, that's a you question. No, that's a you question. No, that's a you question. <laughs> Baby doll. <laughs> That's like too spot on, dude. Alright. What should we have him do to pay back the sin? Other than bleed. See, the shot's gonna be a reminder, but he still has to pay off not getting fucking fanned down. What do we have him do? Well, I think he's groveling enough. I think, honestly, I think Getting shot in the hand's more enough of a message, but if you're wanting to get more off him, then... You're trying to work, right? You're trying to get some money? For me? Yeah. I'm always trying to work. What if you bring him with you to go rob some folk tonight? No, a chance I ain't working with that cunt. What? I don't know him. I ain't running around with him all day. Fuck that. Huh, fair enough. You could have a mind for you. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm not gonna put anyone through that. I wouldn't put my worst enemy through that. Alright, figure it out. This is your punishment you're wanting to give out. You figure it out, not me. Hmm. If you want, tell me to put his hand up against that post and just put a fucking bullet in it. All right, his punishment is working with you. I'm not working with him. Jonesy. Why am I being punished for this? What have I done wrong? You're not being punished for it. You could teach him a fucking thing or two. Right. Why does this feel like I'm being punished now? You're not being fucking punished. But I don't want to work with him. I'm asking you to do something, Jonesy. Fine. I'll do like a couple of shine runs or fucking. It, it's perfect. Cool. Make him go fucking pick wheat and make him do a shine run. You don't have to get your fucking hands dirty at all. You can just make him go from thieves and you wait at cattail for him. It, perfect. You take $200, he keeps 100 Well, he's going to need to spend $100 on the fucking sugar. That's why he gets to keep 100 Jonesy. He ain't getting fucking paid for this. This is payback. Okay, I'll go tell him then. Caleb! In this case, don't shoot him in hand because we're going to need him to actually pick stuff up, you know? Uh, arm. No. Alright. Here's the deal. You're going to do a job for Jonesy. And that's going to be... For, you know, to cover whatever the fuck happened on that hill yesterday. Sounds fair to me. What's the job? Well, you're going to do a shine run for me. Alrighty. 
I did just do one nice successful one yesterday, so uh, I could do that. Lovely. But there's something else, Caleb. And what's that? See, there's very few people that have fucked me over recently. Now, I don't think you fucked me over. I think you were in a unfortunate situation. But I did ask you to stay and wait, and you disappeared. And for that, some blood needs to be drawn. So I'm going to ask you... I'm going to shoot you. Because out west, we do blood for blood. I'm going to let you choose where. It's going to be a graze. Because we still need you to work. But I need to set a reminder and I need to set a precedence that if people do jobs with me and they run away after I tell them to stand by, that there's going to be a punishment. Well, Mr. Quill, I guess I can respect that. As I said, I was wrong, but I did assume you and your brother were under the same... Uh, I guess the same plan, so when you, what he said, I thought went too. But I can see now what you says vetoes what he says. So I will uh, willingly let you graze me if that is what will rectify the situation. It is. Where do you before, want the graze? Before I am... Uh, Maybe a little indisposed with this graze. Can I at least uh, tell you about the uh, the boxes? Or did you already uh, talk to Jesse about that? I haven't talked to Jesse about it. He was the first fucker I ran into once I got out of there. And uh, told him if he finds those, you know, they belong to the quills. And he said he'd tell his man to keep his hands off. So uh, he's keeping a good eye on them. And I had to make room in said boxes, so I removed some ammunition. So when you want this rifle ammo back, let me know. You keep it. You'll end up uh, needing it. All right. Well, let's get this fucking over with. I'm going to need a drink. Yeah, there'll be one waiting for you, plus I'll have someone wrap it up. We don't want you getting infected. Where do you want it? Well, seeing as I've had two cougar bites, a knife, and a fucking graze on both shoulders already, let's try somewhere new. Jonesy suggested the head, but I, I still think that's fucked up. I said behind you, <laughs> fucking psycho. Yeah, that could affect my working ability, so I'm gonna avoid that. However, how good is your shot? I believe someone once said I could shoot a fly off a, or a, a, a dick off a bee in a meadow. I don't, I have a very good shot. Alrighty. <laughs> then here's what I'm requesting. Leave the hands out of it, but shoot my upper arm. Right or left, your choice. I'm ambidextrous, I think is how they say it. Not too learned, but, you know, take your pick. And we'll wrap that fucker up and I'll get on this shine run for you, sir. Alright, take off your jacket so it doesn't ruin your coat. Wanna roll up your sleeve, too? Fucking do it. Ugh. Fuck. Once you make this delivery with Jonesy, the debt's paid. I have to have a word with my fucking cousin. Uh, hopefully it wasn't, uh... I would have way rather had Jonesy not with a gun for that, in case he wanted to. But I think he's trying to find a place out west.
and got you one of the best things we offer scotch thank you here you go I'll go let Cece know you need stitches probably All right, out, Oizik. Oi. Isaac. Do you have zip? I've been talking to everyone about the bank job, and it seems like you and Ollie really fucked this up. Oh, how you figure? Well, see, Ollie told me that he told you that you guys, or they were waiting on the cliff. Not that they left. And you came down, you told me and Barton that they left. They went there when I was up there. I was looking through my binoculars, spotting for love. I looked down from my binoculars, and they weren't there anymore. If they were still there, then... I'm not a mind reader, they should have told me that. Fuck everyone we talk to, it just seems like it's fucking Ollie's fault. I did remember him telling me to go and get you all. But when I looked down for my binoculars, I didn't see him. Where's Cece? I don't know, I didn't see her. Mercer? Uh, right. She's at Mercer? Alright, let's yeah, No, no, no. Mercer. Let's get him up to Mercer. Me, you, and Isaac are going on a little fucking field trip. You gonna ride on the back of my horse today, Caleb? I think we're gonna go up there and we're gonna have Isaac explain this shit because. Uh, what went down? I got fucking arrested because everyone left. Really? Ollie had fucking two people go with him, which I'm assuming they left before we even fucking got down the mountain. Which left me, Barton, and Isaac up on the ridge by ourselves. Hold on. Hold on. You got ditched? By my own fucking brother, yeah. I just shot that fella. He's one of the ones that ditched. He ditched you. Caleb. Debt's paid, though. Because he was just listening to orders from my brother, which... It makes sense for both of these two people that Girl, we brought outside. If you want to go to Marcel, I'll just ride with you. Yeah. It makes sense because two of the people that were on this job weren't part of anything before, right? So... They were just listening to Ollie. And it sounds like it was Ollie's choice to leave... Me... Isaac and Barton there. See, these motherfuckers, I told everyone, part of the bank, every single person, I said, we need to buy time until nightfall and then we'll figure out our plan because it was right. dead daylight. I mean, what if fog sets in? If the fog would, that's what I'm saying. If the yeah. fog would have set in, we would have been gone. All of us. There wouldn't have been any issues. So they oh, find yeah. a way out of the ridge. They find a way out that if okay so like we took them up they fled and they try to ambush sure. us leaving out there's a way up the cliff on the right hand side if you're leaving the camp mm -hmm. they well, found that i'll just go well they found that and instead of coming back down and regrouping and then saying okay at nightfall we'll go back up and we'll all leave together 
they decided to go. Someone slipped, so it caused the other two, I guess, to join that person to where Isaac thought they had left. So then we thought we were outnumbered. But turns out they were apparently on the other side waiting for us, but we didn't know that. So Law came up and ambushed me, Barton, and fucking Isaac. And as I was talking to Pruitt, I turn around and Isaac and fucking Barton are gone. So everyone got away with you? Right. What the fuck? So everyone left you, or just those three? Technically everyone left me. Because Isaac and Bolton left, or Barton left without saying anything either. CC! You know, I saw Ollie and Strawberry last night. CC! I need you to patch this fella up. Which fella? The guy in the back of Mars. I just shot him. Uh, who shot, shot him? him? Wait, who shot him? I did. Uh, okay. Uh, but have, we really need to set up somewhere for this sort of shit, don't we? Mm. Should we go up top? You go to that tent, I used it when I was in a coma. Over here? Why'd you shoot medical the stuff. Huh? So why'd you shoot him? Because he fucked up and I had to send a fucking message. Oh, fair enough. He told me, what, what he told me last night, that fell out, I don't remember his name, but I saw him in Strawberry when Ali left and he said that y'all just left. Like everybody. No. I don't know. So, Ali... Jackie and Caleb left. So it was me, Bolton, and Isaac. And then, or Barton, fuck. And then uh, they found us up on the ridge. And we were talking, I had guns aimed, and then I looked behind me, and Isaac and Barton are gone too. So I tried to slip down the mountain, but Law got me. And once they got me, they just gave up the search for everybody else. No oh, wow. It's unfortunate. The best strategy for Zip in a bank job, dude, is to give all the loot to everybody else, because Zip is going to be targeted from law more than everybody else. We have to bring that milk to Zippy. Jonesy. This is about to sting a little bit, yeah. Let's go. Are we leaving this guy? Yeah. Wait, Caleb. Back. It's basically just salty water. Caleb. Caleb. My bad. I'm a little out of it. Yes, sir. What is it? Uh, once you're done here. And she clears you. Head to the wheat fields outside Emerald and start grabbing wheat. You telegram me when, uh... Are you running shine? He is. Yeah. Okay. Uh... How, how much wheat you need? Oh, fuck. I think it... If you're running shine, you might be better off doing it with corn, because you only need ten corn per mash. And you need 10 mash to make your full run. Well, there you go. Do you know where the cornfield is at Calga Hall? Let me check. Where am I looking on the map? It's like the no. closest field to roads from Calga Hall. Job? If it is, I can give him the instructions once I'm done here. Yeah, but he could ride us to meet us in Thieves when he's done picking this stuff, and we'll show him the rest. Just show him where to get the corn. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zip, if you need anything, telegram me. I'm going to go to Blackwater. Like All right. Yeah. Sorry, that's the anxiety, I guess. That's fine. I'm going to put you down on time about to stick a needle in your arm. Where's Jonesy? Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Hey, Zip. Yeah. Out of, 
our two gangs here. Who else is uh not in Sisica that's around? Do you know? I have no idea. Alright. Well, I don't know if Cece's told you yet, but I guess if any criminal, anything like that, I guess you just come over here. But I don't know. I've been told that law writes 20 deep in towns now, so especially for one fucking person. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh -oh. We'll talk about it. All right. Do you see where Jonesy went? I know. I'm sorry. No. Don't know who that is, so. Isaac, could you find Jonesy? I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Oh. Alright, child, we are back.
All right, I'm back. Chucky. Uh, What'd you do? Fuck. I fell off the rail. I was walking and <coughs> I hit my back zip. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Is it? Yeah. You, you, you taught that guy a lesson, though. Who is he? Uh, he's just some fellow that's new to the West. His name is Caleb. I just met the fellow. Ugh. CC, I have another one for you. We found Chucky. Okay, can you please go into one of those boxes that has the medical supplies in it? Good luck, Chucky. Jones, are you ready? I'm sorry. Did Isaac find you? Me? Yeah. No, I just got stitched up and given directions for the uh, shine run. All right. Third crate go off of the horse, or is it still on the horse? I'm gonna take care of that now. Uh, as to the uh, the gems and stuff, I ain't too familiar with the particulars post withdrawal, but I'm assuming it takes some time to offload those. Yeah. Well, I got caught with most of the shit on me. Gotcha. Yeah. So, I, we have to figure out what's going on with that. I'll let you know. Alrighty. Where did, uh... I'm looking for Jonesy and Isaac right now. I don't know where they went. Oh. Alright. I don't need to message Jonesy, right? Just shoot you a telegram once I have the corn? Yeah. Alrighty. we Will do. Yeah, I wonder how long he was sitting there for. I might need a ride back into town. Yeah. Are they outside town? Or are they outside the wall? I ain't too sure. You guys coming or what? Are we leaving? Yeah. This guy was a really good champ about it, though. I feel bad doing that kind of shit, because I know people want to play their characters as, like, people I don't get fucked with, but... At the same time, it's like... He did leave, and I... It's really fucked up, because I don't know what I'm going to do with Ollie. Because it sounds like this is all coming back to Ollie undermining Zip. And fucking the whole thing up. Like, I... I it's fucked up because I, like, OOC, I don't want to ruin the Ollie Zip RP. Because it's very rare that Liam could hop on Ollie. 
And I love playing games with Liam. Like, I love fucking Ollie and Zip. I love Liam. It's just... Zip has to do something about it, because Ollie undermined him the second that he started telling people what to do during Zip's bank job. Ollie's always kind of undermined Zip. But this one actually had a toll. I think Zip is gonna, like, square up with Ollie. Like a fist fight. And then tell Ollie, like, he either... If he's gonna ride with us, he either doesn't undermine me in, in the outfit. With how, uh, cordial the rude boys seem, are, do most gangs out west seem to get along just fine? Yeah. Yeah, there's no... We're all trying to build this place up. We all have a common goal. That's good. Less messy. Right. Is your horse here, or do you need to go to the stable? No, nah, it's here. There's Rusty right there. Alright, I'll shoot you a telegram once I get that corn. Alright. Exactly, Chad. Exactly. Because in Ollie's eyes, Zip is still the dumbass, but truthfully, he hasn't been there to see what Zip has gone through and what Zip has built. He didn't see what we had in Tumbleweed. He's not really seen what we're doing in Armadillo. Yeah, technically, Zip missed Enola's funeral looking for Ollie. And like Vinny said, Zip raised Ollie. That's like our lore with our characters. We're not gonna shoot him. Zip won't shoot Ollie for a bank job. But at the same time, it's like, there will be a fist fight and it's gonna be fair. Zip isn't gonna try to be dirty. And if Ollie wins, it's whatever. It's just to get the aggression out. But I think it's gonna be like, Ollie, if you're gonna be riding with me, you don't undermine me. Like, we have to be a unit and I get the bickering that's not what I'm talking about it's you can't tell people if I tell everyone to wait until nightfall we wait until nightfall it's still lagging isn't it Yeah, everything's closed except for Wild and OBS, so I think I need to restart my computer. We're gonna go to, uh, relive the events of last night. I wanna know where Isaac saw them. I wish I know where Jackie is. Do one of you have Jackie's telegram? Nope. Isaac? Exactly. Find out what happened to the hay? What hay? They're all up at the fort, so even if I telegram them...
We're gonna restart. I'm gonna restart the PC when we get to Blackwater. What? Whereabouts was it you said? It's just not the tall trees. It's a camp that the Rude Boys have been using for a little bit. Isaac sounds like he knows he fucked up. We're gonna go by Blackwater. I'm gonna try to get a telegram to someone that might have Jackie's telegram. I'm gonna need to take like a quick nap when I get there too. Oh yeah, no, I don't know who stole it. It's gonna be someone that doesn't like Zip. Cause they made a point to leave a detail about the note. I mean, it was just fucking hay. I may send the telegram and then uh, lay my head for like two minutes. Alright. Zip, do you want this cash? Cash for what? From the job. Who all got paid so far? I've just held on to everything until we figured out what the hell was going on. So you have all the cash? I have three gold bars and $500 in cash. Who has the other cash? Um, Barton, I think. Maybe Ollie. Right. I know I definitely gave Ollie stuff in the bank. Oh, no zip. How, have you seen Jackie? Who? Never mind. Ah, I don't know who that is. No, 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 he said it's at the camp. Um, take this. What about your part? What? What about your cut? I thought all this money was to build in the west anyway. I've, I'm I'm good. I still have like fifteen hundred dollars in gems. I'm not desperate for money right now. All right, I'm gonna go lay my head down really quick. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm gonna restart the computer. I'll hop in chat and tell you when to refresh. It shouldn't be lagging this much. I'll be right back.